has Sydney secretly been stealing the rest of Australia's Pfizer vaccines? Let's investigate. So this all started when the ABC reported that New South Wales had been receiving more than their fair share of Pfizer. And the Victorian Premier was, well, pretty furious about it. I signed up to a national plan to vaccinate our nation not a national plan to vaccinate Sydney. So the federal government's meant to be giving out vaccines based on population size. And even though New South Wales makes up 32% of the population, they receive 43% of all the Pfizer doses distributed through Australia's GP network. And yeah, these graphs uh, don't look great, uh, but we do know where some of the disparity came from. See, because Sydney's been going through such a terrible outbreak, there have been times where the rest of the country's just agreed to give them extra doses. For example, in August, when they got more than half of a million Pfizer jabs coming from Poland. But here's the thing, even once you account for all these above the table, deals, New South Wales is still getting too much, which means other states have been getting too little. Like take Victoria, where Daniel Andrews reckons they've missed out on more than 340,000 Pfizer doses. So yes, this happened. But why? Well, the whole half of the vaccine rollout that's being done by GPs and pharmacists is actually controlled by the federal government, not the states. And back when the Sydney outbreak started getting out of control, the feds quietly added 260 extra New South Wales GPs to that network. And then to stock those clinics, they again quietly sped up the state's supply of Pfizer vaccines. This was done without anyone knowing, and the Commonwealth have got caught doing it. The federal government have come out and said, look, we just needed to save lives. All we were doing was bringing the doses forward in New South Wales. We weren't increasing their eventual total. And look, everything's gonna even out anyway in the end. But the other states, especially lockdown Victoria, have one big problem with that logic. We can't wait. This is a race. Both Sydney and Melbourne are in lockdown and both can only open up when they manage to get 80% of their eligible population vaccinated. These guys had the same starting line, but now because of the dose disparity, it looks like Sydney will be finishing this race weeks ahead. And also they have crappy coffee. 